All right, it's my eighth time recording this crap. All right, whatever. Dream versus Happy Heart. Who's right? This is a dream versus a happy heart drama. So, my first point, I'm just going to get this across, is that I dislike how Uber handles the situation. You don't have to go after someone's character, man. But at the same time, I understand where you're coming from. I feel, okay, this is what I feel. I'm not trying to put words into Uber's mouth. I don't know Uber at all. But I feel like Uber wanted credit for the hard work that he put into dis actually discovering. He wanted the process. And Happy Heart even explained this in his video. But... Uber started calling Dream greedy, and the Dream started calling Uber greedy, and like all this characters last me. Just like stop, like stop assuming bad things about people without actually like without actually knowing the person. Like, why is it so hard for the internet to understand this? Anyways, so that's well, that's my thoughts on the Uber situation. Second part, Dream misrepresented Happy's points, but Happy also misrepresented Dream points. So this is what I'm talking about. So I'm pretty sure like. So like dream, dream how dream approached in his response video was like happy was happy was dumb for like saying his his thing his thing was that happy was dumb for saying like for saying like if we're not harping on the difference between four point oh eight and four because yeah I uh, personally as a park no, not parkour I'm, I don't know parkour at all right so I personally as just like a casual so like. I, w I would not give a single flying fuck about uh, about 0 .0, 0 0.8 um, in uh, in like parkour right but like happy heart does because he's part of the he's part of the parkour community and probably these, these little decimals they probably add up to like a lot and these like minute calculations right? And that's Happy's perspective about why 4.08 and 4 is such a big difference. But, like, in this context, I like, Dream was just talking about general knowledge. In general, we're, in, in general, the general public does not care about these things. So, I feel like Dream... I understand where Happy's coming from. But, at the same time, I feel like Dream is right in the situation. But, I also don't appreciate how Dream made Happy look like an idiot. Like, Happy had some valid points, like 4.08 is technically not 4, and it probably makes a pretty big difference in some edge parkour cases. But, at the same time, I understand what Dream's also coming from, because, who gives a shit? <laughs> that, that, that's the most blunt way I can put it. No one, no, like, no one, like, no one gives a shit about, like, this 4.0, like, no one outside the parkour community, at least, gives a shit about 4.08 blocks. But then again, this... Happy's criticism was that the parkour community wasn't getting enough recognition. Uh, the happy essentially what what it boils down to is Happy's as a parkour community was like being like kind of patronized in a way. But who knows who's right? I just feel like making exposed videos like I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. Hopefully that made sense. Because I've been trying to get my point across for far too long. And I don't want to record again. So, okay. It's so my third point. Five block is commonly not commonly known. Again, another miscommunication error. Like, not commonly known in the... Are you talking about the parkour community? Because that's what Happy Heart was talking about. And it feels fucking patronizing when you, when you say, like, Oh, none of you parkour experts know about it. That's what that's probably what the parkour community, parkour community feels like. There's are there no parkour experts? Hello, where are the parkour experts? You know, but like, at the same time, like again, this is for the general public. It's not for your niche parkour community. But then again, like the whole entire Happy Heart situation was based around the fact that the parkour community was not given enough representation in the five block jump. So. Who knows? Who knows? So, yeah. Uh, this is probably like the worst recording so far. I probably shouldn't have deleted the other ones. Okay, whatever. I, hopefully I got my point across. My point is like, my point is like you're coming at a difference, the difference between some like news reporter reporting on it and like the super niche, super niche like people in the field. And like not getting enough recognition, be and like the news reporter like basically like boiling down. It's almost like boiling it down, boiling parkour down to a point where the parkour parkour community is not cool with that.
is basically what Happy Hearts video is about. At least I think so. That that's that's my opinion. At least that's that's my that's my takeaway from Happy Hearts video. Um. So yeah. And th okay. Oh my god. Hopefully this makes sense. I just feel like it was a big misrepresentation. I just feel like it was a big mis misrepresentation error. Like, big miscommunication error, excuse me. Yeah. Like, dream, like, they, they, like, I feel like they almost, like, deliberate, like, cause, like, what, okay, when you're a small content creator, right, you're automatically more suspicious of big content creators, and as a big content creator, you're, I can see why you can get paranoid over small, smaller content creators, cause, like, you can cancel pretty easily, nowadays, at least. So, um yeah so like they're both suspicious of each other at this point now right so now they make scathing remarks but when all it boils down to is park community wants more recognition and yeah that's pretty much it i feel i understand that's why i feel like the happy the happy like wanted like park the park community did, did this much research and dream didn't include that and then boiled down parkour to this one gimmick is what I took away from Happy's video. Again, I do not. I'm not even remotely close to the park for me. I fucking speed run and play high pixel and I hack use eight. Right? I'm your typical Minecraft player. I fucking hack use eight people because I'm bad at PvP. But like, you know. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Whatever. This is this. It's like it's like whatever, dude. Like, if you want to talk it out, talk it out. But like. I feel like this drama could have just been avoided just by talking. Like, I, I, like, if any of you remember the Kirk's got, Kirk's got situation, I don't know how to pronounce that, right? Versus co Coffee Break? Same exact thing. Smaller creator, big creator, suspicious, miscommunication. And what do you get? A big bunch of drama that did not need to happen at all. This is the exact same thing. Have a part of the wants more recognition? If they wanted to collab with Dream? Then they could have gotten a lot more clout. I, I, I feel like they didn't have to go viciously after Dream's character, but at the same time, like Dream Dream's response video is equally hostile because Happy Heart is also. I don't even feel like Happy Heart was that hostile. Like if you watch the whole video of Happy Heart's Happy Heart's video, it wasn't even that hostile. But Dream fans, I don't know. Dream's Dream's response video is a little hostile, I guess. But Dream fans, dream, I'm a Dream fan, so I don't want to paint all of you guys as bad. I don't want to play that morally high card, but, like, some of you need to chill, dude. Like, y'all, like, sending death threats and shit. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, final comment. So, Infinite, so, in the Happy Heart video, um, in Happy Heart, they were, like, talking about infinite momentum and shit, like, and then Happy Heart brought up some points about, like, some, like, seven-year-olds and, like, the comment section talking about this and like okay if a seven-year-old if a seven-year-old thing lies about the five block if about accidentally dropping jumping five blocks who actually gives a damn <laughs> ah, i'm sorry but like who actually gives a fucking shit dude like okay here let me tell you guys a story so Back in like 2012, right? I used to play on this Minecraft server. It's pro it, it's dead now. It's like closed. But like, it was like an RPG server, and you could buy ranks, right? So yeah, no EULA, but it was like a pay to win rank. So it was like a donator rank, and they they got free gold blocks and like gold blocks and emeralds and all that crap were the currency, and it was like RPG server. So you couldn't just mine for those. You had to kill mobs, and villagers would trade mob drops for the for you trade mob drops for emeralds and diamonds and gold and trade that for better gear it was pretty fun so anyways my friend was like he got a lot of gold and a lot of obsidian obsidian was also pretty rare like currency so i he gave he gave some to me because we were good friends but then one day an admin found out because i didn't play on the server that much i was like i was like in like iron armor while other people are rocking like full enchanted prot for diamond armor and th there was like okay well i guess the turn story time video but okay whatever so like anyways anyways before it turns into like another one of tana mongo mongooses like this wither skeleton fucking shoved a toothbrush up my ass 
thing. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'm sorry. That was mean. That was mean. Whatever. I'm preaching about being nice. I'm fucking being toxic. Hypocrisy at its finest. But anyways. So, where was I? Right, right, right. So one day, this admin sees me, a noob, right? And, I, and he sees me, a noob, carrying a ton of his obsidian in my e-chest. And he's like, what is this? And I'm like, um, so like, you know, I killed a bunch of squids and there's a bugged villager far, far away. And then like, you know, uh, I traded ink sacks for a bunch of obsidian and gold. So yeah, yeah, that, that, that was a perfect lie. And you know what happened to the server? It got fucking reset with me, me at the centerpiece because they're paranoid about some non-existent villagers. Squids were disabled forever, and like I, I got reset. I thankfully didn't get banned, but I got reset, and like that was that was kind of crappy because I was actually pretty far into the game, but I was still considered a noob, and I also, of course, all the donator stuff, and like yeah, so I lied about I lied because donating because getting boosts from a donator was bannable, so like. I didn't. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to get my fan friend banned, so I lied about getting donations from my friend, and then like, I got banned for lying. Yeah, my thought process at like my thought process at age of ten was very good. So moral of the story: do I have to listen to little ten year olds lie? Why does ten year olds lying matter to you? That that and that that's 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 the thing like. Dream might have spread misinformation, but like, why? No. It's like it's like a little kid who like lie about the crap. I don't know. The only misinformation <laughs> that, that, that that just that just like that just boggles my mind because like, why do you care what what these like little kids think? Like, is it some? I don't. Again, I don't want to get a character assassination, but I really feel like. <laughs> I, I, I anyway anyways anyways that was a long tangent holy fuck now it's 12 minutes long i didn't even intend to be this long i thought it was gonna be like a five minute response all right whatever so that's my thoughts to sum it up because i was probably incoherent as hell miscommunicate they miscommunicated they in, assumed ill intentions of each other and then happy heart got a ton of backlash but I still see validity in both of their points. It was a difference in like, it was a difference in like what they wanted to create and like. I feel like I could have just gone better because. Like if, if you want a better publicity for the Parker community, why not just reach out for to Dream and like talk to him about it, you know. Maybe, maybe you did, and maybe Dream. I don't. Know, I, I don't know. I'm just an outsider. I'm just like. I'm your average Minecraft player just fucking like speed running. So, yeah. Whatever. I'm not gonna get into too I'm not, I'm not gonna stake like my entire <laughs> I'm not gonna stake like too much into this because it's, it's to be frank, like none of us knows what's behind the scenes, right? Only Happy Heart and Dream do. And maybe Uber. And maybe some of their close friends. Uh, I'm not uh, before I say something that's gonna like fucking can you cancel your zero subscriber channel? I hope you can't. But, whatever. See ya.